Today we will dive into Canon's auto tracking features for their impressive range of PVC cameras. Auto tracking allows operators to easily follow human subjects on a stage, making it invaluable in education, at corporate events and in houses of worship of course. And this fantastic assistive technology also includes parameters for fine tuning and of course you can adjust those settings directly from your Skyhoy controller. In this video, we will also highlight another key point, and that is Garhoi controllers. They are always evolving. When this feature was added to the cameras, we adapted our controllers accordingly, thanks to their unparalleled flexibility. And with regular software updates, your Skyhoy gear is continually renewed and improved. This is PVC Extreme our flagship PDC controller. I love this guy. It is well laid out, has a zoom rocker, focus wheel, iris knob, eight encoders for adjusting settings. And it has a lot of menus that I'm now cycling through. In this case, 10, well, 10, 11 actually, 11 menus, because there's also the tracking menu. This is where we'll spend time today in the tracking menu, but just quickly to let you know how this works. This is menu keys up here, and these are knobs we can adjust settings. This is the joystick, so we can control the camera. These are preset record buttons, and we have a camera selector here. And guess what? In that camera selector, I have other cameras. We have CIN 700. That's the target of our demonstration. There is CIN 500. We have CIN 300. That's what the label says. So there's a camera connected here I can control, and CIN 100. They are in our showroom, different place in the building. But these two cameras, they are here today. You see, this is the 500 camera. I'm now operating, I'm changing over to the 700 and that camera, I'm now moving it, but actually it is already auto tracking. If you just notice the tiny movements of the head, it is following Casper on rails over there. So that's what we'll investigate. But before we do that, I wanna show you, this is the web UI of the PDC Extreme, which is built into this unit. This product is all it takes to talk to these cameras. It doesn't need this computer, except if you want to interact with the web UI to add more cameras and so on. So here we have a camera selector. I can label my cameras as I want. This is also where you would basically add more cameras if you want to search up cameras on your network and add those devices to your control panel, then you would do that. This is all running out of the PVC Extreme. Okay, let's get to the tracking features. On this page, which is the CRN 700s web UI, you can access the tracking features and it is something that you enable specifically. So in the camera menu, you basically scroll over to what is called other functions. And here you click on, let me see, I think view, because there are add-ons added to this camera. So the add-on we'll explore today is the tracking application and we will open this one up. And then we have the UI of the tra tra tracking application. Sorry about that. And it is uh, now showing that we are tracking uh, the target, Caspar and Rails over there. Okay, on the PTC Extreme, I wanna show you how these settings are broken out in the menu. So I'll use the menu to dial over to tracking, add it here as the 11th item. And I can now turn auto tracking off. So now the camera is not trying to follow the target. We wanna do some tracking. So let's enable tracking in the tracking menu that we have found. As I'm enabling tracking, it is actually still not tracking as we'll see. But now I'll use the joystick to just zoom in slightly here because at some point the subject is clear enough for the software to realize, okay, I found a person in the picture. I'm now going to track this person because tracking is on and that's what's happening. So let's just for a while, just enjoy the fact that the camera is following this person, me, on rails. But we want to do more. We want the camera to automatically help us framing and also, uh, yeah, framing the person in, in, in the view. The first thing I want to do is to enable display size and it is set to three. So what it does is it zooms to the cropping represented by the value three. If I change that value to one, and notice that auto zoom is on, which means that it will automatically immediately respond to my target size. I'm now sort of back to a full person view here. So one thing you will definitely see is that there's too much air above my head. So I'll use this one, this parameter. If I dial this around, you can see this is changing the framing definitely in the wrong position. So a little pro tip here is if I press this one, I get into course mode. That means that my values change quicker as I'm turning the dial. Anyway, we are now much, much closer to the sort of framing that we're looking for. 
Great. Okay, so as I now go to framing number two, number three, number four, and even number five, you'll see that this is probably, and now, okay, maybe we just want to adjust this slightly. Okay, probably like that. This is great. Okay, so that target size is really essential. You know, it's just like cruising. It's just, okay, just want to see a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, I want to get close up like that. Very, very convenient, and it's possible still to fine tune to make sure that you get that professional framing that you are probably educated to achieve on behalf of your customer or your employer. So, um, auto zooming, automatically doing that target size, which kind of cropping you want to have. And uh, this is a status window, this is the offset so that you can customize a little bit, and also in the X position. So we can also make sure the, the subject is target uh, framed in the one or the other size. So one thing I haven't mentioned just yet is the tracking sensitivity. And that is basically how aggressive it is going to be on following the subject. So if I set it to 10, it is going to just go really hard on getting this subject centered or, or framed according to the specifications we have made. But if I ease it up like this, then it's going to be a little bit more relaxed, a little slower in the reaction. So you, now you'll see that basically I, I'll move quite further to the left before the camera tries to follow up. So you'll probably pick some value in the middle, but this will just help you to have a smooth auto tracking experience, which um, I'm sure also plays in with the environment you're in and how you're your presenter on a stage is uh, dynamically moving around. Thank you for watching this video. To stay connected with all our latest software and hardware updates, simply like and subscribe to this channel. And you can also join our newsletter or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and X. And if you have any questions, then our dedicated sales and support team is ready to assist you. And you'll find all the relevant links and resources in the video description below. Thanks for watching.